for you, but, but a victory tonight. Uh, what, what's the feel after the performance tonight? Uh, a little bit of frustration, really. I was kind of expecting to get in. I was kind of going in there expecting him to want to brawl with me a little bit, little bit and kind of be in my face, and uh, it was quite the opposite. And uh, so a little frustrated. I thought I was going to build off my jab a little more than I could, or than I, than I did, rather. Um, yeah, uh, I think I'm grateful to come off with a win. It's been a battle just to even get to this point. Uh, I've had uh, back issues, rib issues, feet issues, <laughs> the works. So I'm uh, happy to walk away from this with a, with a win. Um, back, can't wait to get back to training, actually, and kind of progress. Maybe a little bit of break. Oh, a couple of days is good with me. <laughs> Can you talk about the field coming in? I mean, uh, obviously, you know, the issues, the challenges that you said you had, you know, obviously losses as well. I mean, was there pressure or some kind of different feel tonight? Uh, there's always pressure, and I think I do that to myself, but I, I'm not one to shy away from that either. Um, I think pressure makes diamonds, right? So, I mean, I'll put as much pressure on me as I feel like I can handle and then add a little extra just in case. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. As you said, he, he, he fought differently than you, than you expected him to fight. So what, what, what were the key adjustments that you had to make to be victorious tonight? Uh, well, the whole time I was planning a high pace, whether, whether he was pushing me or I was pushing him, I was, I was planning on a high pace. Uh, he fought at a further distance out than I was expecting. So the, the volume wasn't necessarily as what I was expecting. Um, so I just kind of had to settle a little bit. Um, I think I started landing some good shots, and I, think, I don't think that left him with enough comfortability to want to press me. So. What, what was going through your head as the decision was being read? You had, you had kind of an interesting body language. It looked like you were frustrated or were you worried that the decision wasn't going to be right? What, what was going on at that moment? Uh, a little bit of all that, honestly. Um, you never know what the judges. I felt like for sure I'd gotten the first in the last round. Um, second round, just because he held me up against the cage when I was being lazy a little bit. Um, I just didn't know what exactly they were going to be looking at. Uh, he, he, did, he did a bunch of things. He did a few things pretty good. Um, I did a few things good. It was kind of, it's kind of hard to tell with all the, with all the emotion in there. Um, honestly, I was kind of ready for a couple more just in case. I'd like, I don't know, we'll get to, into that later. Nice. I guess, uh, you know, last for me, what, what, what do you see doing next? As you said, you're only going to take a couple days off. You can get back in there. It sounds like you want to fight as soon as possible. But is, is there a date on the calendar? Is there a matchup that makes sense? What's, what's next for you? Uh, I didn't want to really plan much past this fight because this one was a big one for me. Um, really felt like I was kind of on, on, the, on the chopping block for it. So I really wanted to come away with a good performance. Uh, yeah, sooner rather than later for me works best uh, in my mind. I mean, we'll, we'll go back home and see what, see what the coach thinks.